All right, here we are with more Mega Man Maker. Um, today we'll be playing through Submerged Castle by Abderhood with 40 plays and a score of positive 2, a forum posted level. Yeah, so let's see what this is all about. Um, we have the gravity hole and the crash bombs there. And no. <laughs> well, still want to do the try. This definitely looks like whatever these are a, a castle ball, basically. <laughs> you know, these little ledges that juts out in castles, like in Swedish, they would be called Bristvan, but uh, I have no idea what they would be called in English. <laughs> no idea at all. Oh, oh my goodness, okay. Yes, this is a knight. Kind of. Knight shocking his spear. <laughs> Although I guess you don't see very many knights shocking their spears in <laughs> this fashion where they like twirl it around into a propeller-like propeller fashion and you know, just <laughs> launches it straight at you, but you know. Okay, I thought I could make that, but not not quite, but there we go. Yeah, I'm just going to sheep that guy out. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, then I just fell straight through that little hole there. Well, we're just going to have to try and do a little bit better. Oh, yo, yo, okay. Rushing is not gonna help. What? <laughs> there we go. Don't like, <laughs> don't feel like dealing with his shenanigans. With his shenaniganry. Okay, now. Let's just wait here instead of trying and jump up on it early and we get this out all right nice Ooh. yeah you have to be kind of careful here I guess um, the enemies aren't necessarily in nasty positions but we have had a few um, jump scares, or you know, whatever you want to call it, enemies popping up. Or maybe it wasn't so much an enemy popping up back there, it was just me falling down into a one tile gap hole. <laughs> Didn't not really have anything to do with the enemies, it just had to me being, yeah, you know, just <laughs> moving around too much, <laughs> more than anything. Hmm. All right, that worked out nicely. Oh, I, wow, I did not, I did not notice the one one there. You know, when you landed in between there, that was pretty cool though, having them there. I haven't actually, you know, believe it or not, I have not seen them in a fashion like that before, where, um, you know, where there are spikes on the sides. You know, obviously I have seen the spike jumps, you know, many times, but that was the first time <laughs> that I seen there being one ones there too assist you know with the killing with the killing of Mega Man and this is weird I wonder why this is here maybe maybe it's something that was left in on you know by accident perhaps uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah this is definitely have, have definitely been left in on accident um oh shoot I why did I not okay you know what let's just cut back See you in a sec. Okay, we are here again. Time to go down instead. And oh no, <laughs> do not go on that lip just yet. Nice. Uh, oh, I see what I need to do there. I see what I need to do. Oh, 
All right, we are here again. Now, let's just preempt that. Oh, there are spikes in the ceiling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this stage is pretty hard. Um. Yeah. A lot of instant death rooms, you know. Um, you're not very likely to die by taking damage uh, in this stage, that's for sure. It's mainly a, you know, uh, pit and spike damage level. <laughs> pit and uh, spikes, you know, kind of level where you have to be on point with your jumps or else you'll die. I guess, you know, Ooh, while we're on that subject, oh man, that was close. Um, a good thing, like, you know, this stage is pretty generous with the checkpoints because of all the spikes and pits, but um, if you want to practice, you know, levels where you focus more on having enemies kill the player uh, instead, it is a good idea to, like, try and practice uh, only, you know, Add more rooms in between each checkpoint. Like, make let's say you plan on having a stage being 24 screens long. You know, put a checkpoint in the middle at 12 screens and like limit the entire section to like having rooms with spikes and pits. Like in only two of the 12 rooms, like max. And you know, try and come up with other layouts without relying on pits being a main obstacle. That's a really good training, um, you know, for the creator uh, if you're well, if you're try, uh, you know seeking to diversify you know your yeah your stage building ca capabilities i guess i don't know where ooh, why, why i brought all the, all of that up but you know I'm, yeah i'm just rambling at this point <laughs> otherwise you know i uh, quite like this level you know it's pretty challenging but uh, it's not frustrating frustrating the yard um oh this is where we have to go look at that i missed that you go up here Oh, oh! we will get crash bounce from this guy, obviously. Naturally, you know. Nice. But yeah, like... I feel like, you know, a lot of people... Um, um, yeah, I see in some threads on the forums, like, a lot of people, you know... Um, you know, basically are frustrated that their levels get very few upvotes and <clears throat> they say, you know... Oh, I didn't make my stage very hard and you know, etc, etc, and yeah, I mean to the common gamer or you know to the experienced or yeah, you know Mega Man player they probably aren't that hard even though you know, we have all of these pits around but um, Like you would be surprised to how casual players to how much they would str struggle even with a level like this like as you saw, their whole, um, your stage had like 40 plays and 2 positive votes and <clears throat> that is more than likely, you know, because people just don't feel like dealing with the uh, spikes and pits, you know. Um, yeah, it, it's a little bit of a shame, but like, you know, I keep bringing it up, but like, it, um, it, the, the casual gamer or player, you know, of Mega Man, you know, they all pretty much are sucky at the game like um, i'm not making that up um you know i have a few friends and you know brothers who come and play test my stages and you know even on my stages you know where i have very few instant death scenarios <clears throat> they still you know struggle quite heavily <laughs> and die at a few points like you would be amazed if you had if you maybe i should oh that was a pit maybe i should at some point like ask my uh, brother or yeah a friend you know whatever <laughs> if they could be on camera and you know play a few studies so, just so that I could showcase to people you know just how much just how much struggle it is and how frustrating uh, it can be for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing like yeah that's mainly why I you know in my own stages um, just you know I, I basically you know, that's that's basically how I handle it, you know, I just removed many of pits in my levels, I, you know, started using spikes to a minimum and, you know, focused on the player, you know, surviving from taking damage instead, that usually ends up being, you know, the go-to style for a lot of people. Um, then again, <coughs> you know, I mean, 
if you like building, you know, harder stages, then you should do that, you know, if that's your preferable style, you know, to go to, you know, yeah. But yeah, I don't know, okay, I'll, I'll just drop it now, that's like all I've been talking about for the past few minutes, and I don't even know if, if I'm making sense here, um, all I know is that I'm dying a whole lot here, <laughs> that's all I know at this point. And yeah, I did not, yeah, as you can see that I did not even get to keep the crash bombs, like, from killing Crashman there. So yeah, let's just go and kill him again. And hopefully I don't die on my way out of here. Thankfully, Crashman is pretty easy all around. Especially when, you know, we have water in the room. Oops, what the hell happened there? Okay, let's just go up here. Kill him. Oh! There we go. Alright, um... Okay, here. Nice. Full health. Full energy. <laughs> then I use an another... Oh my goodness, oh, that was lovely. Yeah, um, let's see here. Oh, right, now I remember. Okay, yeah, we need to go up here. Oh, of course. Of course. Here, this is where we go. Hopefully we have a checkpoint close by here. Nope, we don't. We have to survive for a little bit longer. And I died again. Where do I even go there? But yeah, I'm getting better at the stage here. Um, I wonder, am I supposed to fall down there? I feel like the stage isn't very clear either, you know, where I'm supposed to be going here. Like, it definitely looks like you need to fall down there. I feel like down there, for example, it probably would have been nice to have spikes instead of a pit, you know, because it's very deceiving. And we also have the, yeah, ceiling there, like, that could also screw up players, like, when you're making ceilings here, you should make the have the ceiling a lot higher up, you know, just so that the player doesn't bonk their head and fall down. Um, you know, you should have... Uh, yeah, you need to make sure that stuff like that doesn't happen either, because it could potentially frustrate people and, you know, they will just leave your level. And probably this is... Yeah, look, this is where we need to go. That's not very clear at all, I would say. Um, there should probably be a ladder or something there, you know, to indicate that you can go down there. Um, there should there should be a yeah, there should be something signif signifying that this is, is indeed where you go. So, like even while this is a pretty nicely built stage, it definitely does have some hiccups here and there. I would say, you know, it's very easy to you know when you when you're playtesting your own stage you know all by yourself and if you don't have a you know pair of fresh eyes it's very easy to overlook things like that you know it's very very easy since you know since you're the one building the level you know you start doing everything the way it's supposed to be done and so when other player you know who does not know how things are supposed to be done comes in and plays you know they are going to find um all kinds of things so that's another good reason to try and you know get other people to play your levels um, it really really helps out like even if it's people online you know maybe you don't have you know friends who can you know come and help you you know check into your stage or you know or you know people who maybe who doesn't really feel like doing that IRL you know uh, the Mega Man Maker forums can probably help as well you know, by just playing and pointing out what they felt was weird or awkward or whatever. And yeah, <laughs> fair enough, you know, when I'm saying that, you know. I have seen you have uploaded a, a few stages here in the new near future of the road, um, and you haven't really had any people playing your stages. Um, or maybe they have played your stage, but just not written anything. Um, that's also a possibility, I guess, but yeah. Oh, well. Man, the fish count is definitely increasing. <laughs> the further we get, it, we get in here. 
But yeah, I think I will go into the editor like afterwards and just show a little bit what I was, you know, what I meant, you know, a few tips here. Tips and tricks, I hope you don't mind. A few things that could be changed up that I mainly thought, you know, just from a... From an objective perspective, hopefully. I'll try and make it as objective as possible. Um, you know. Let's see. Let's just kill this guy. Die. Thank you. So yeah, let's just... I'll just cut into the editor. So yeah, I'll see you there in a sec. 